Ready? Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he that comes in the Lord. Buddy, I missed you all. Hosanna, I mean, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who, who comes in the name of the Lord. Bye, everybody. Have a blessed day. Hosanna. Hosanna the highest. Blessed is he and comes in the name of the Lord. Praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Today he entered the holy city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and King by those who spread garments and branches along the way. Bless branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross, so that joined to his death and resurrection, we may enter into life with you. Through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoice. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us pray. O God of mercy and might, in the mystery of the passion of your Son, you offer your infinite life to the world. Gather us around the cross of Christ and preserve us until the resurrection through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. A reading from Isaiah. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with the word. Morning by morning, he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helped me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. A reading from Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of a God, did not regard the quality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding. Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Then Jesus went with them to Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed. My father, if it would be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not watch with me an hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, for the second time, he went away and prayed. My father, if this cannot pass, unless I drink it, your will be done. And again he came and found them sleeping, and their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words again. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, 
Sleep and take your rest later. See the hour is at hand and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas came, one of the twelve. And with him a great crowd, and with swords and clubs, from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, the one I will kiss is the man. Seize him. And he came up to Jesus at once and said, Greetings, Greetings Rabbi. Rabbi. Friend, do what you came to do. And they came up and laid hands on Jesus. Laid, laid their hands on him and seized him. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword. And struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then should the scripture be fulfilled? And Jesus turned to ask the crowd, have you come out against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me. But all this has taken place that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. Then those who had seized Jesus led him to Caiaphas, the high priest where the scribes and elders had gathered. And Peter was following him at a distance as far as the courtyard of the high priest. And going inside, he sat with the guards to see the end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking false testimony against Jesus, that they might put him to death. But they, but they found none. Though many false witnesses came forward, at least... At last, two came forward and said, This man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God. To destroy the temple of God and to rebuild it in three days. And the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? I adjure you. By the, By the living, living God, God tell, tell us if you are the Christ. Christ. The Son of God? You have said so, but I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. He has uttered blasphemy. 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 What further witnesses do we need? You have heard his blasphemy. People, what is your judgment? He deserves death. Then they spit in his face and struck him. And some slapped him, saying, Prophesy! Prophesy! Who is it that struck you? Prophesy! Prophesy to us, you Christ! Now Peter was sitting outside the courtyard, and a servant girl came up to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. I do not know what you mean. And when he went out to the entrance, another servant girl saw him and said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. I, I swear, swear to you, you, I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are one of them, by your accent betrays you. By the living God, I do not know the man. And immediately the rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the saying of Jesus. Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus. To put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and deliver him over to Pilate the governor. 
Then when Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he changed his mind and brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. What, what is that, that to us? us? See it yourselves. And throwing down the pieces of silver into the temple, he departed. And he went and hanged himself. But the chief priest, taking the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since, since it, it is blood, blood money. money. So they took counsel and bought the potter's field as a burial place for strangers. Therefore, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken by the prophet Jeremiah, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him, on whom a price had been set by some of the sons of Israel, and they gave them for the potter's field. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? You have said so. Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. And they then had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they gathered, Pilate said to them, Who do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him. Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much because of him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, People, which of the two do you want me to release for you? Barabbas! Then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? Crucify him. Crucify him. Crucify him. Crucify him. People, what will you do with Jesus, who is called Christ? Let him be crucified. Why? What evil has he done? Let him be crucified. Let him be crucified. Let, Let him, him be crucified. crucified. Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. People, see to it yourselves. His blood be on us and on our children. Let it be on us. On us and our children. Then he released them for Barabbas, and have, having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and twisting together a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail! 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 Hail, Hail, Hail King, King of the Jews. Jews! And they spit on him, and took the reed, and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe, and put his own clothes on him. And led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, they compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And over his head they put a charge against him which read, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. And those who passed by derided him, 
wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple, who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save, save yourself. yourself. If, if you, you are, are the, the Son, Son of God, God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross. And, and we will believe, believe him. him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now, if, if he, he desires, desires him. For he said, I, I am, am the Son, son of God. God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. And some of the bystanders heard this and said, This man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let, let us see, see whether Elijah, Elijah will come to save him. him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice, and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom. And the rocks were split. And the curtain was torn. And the earth shook. And the curtain was torn. And the rocks were split. And the earth shook. And the curtain was torn. And the tombs were opened. And the rocks were split. And the curtain was torn. And the earth shook. And the curtain was torn. And the tombs were opened. The curtain was torn. And the curtain was torn in two from top to bottom. And many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep or raised and coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him kept watch over Jesus, they saw the earthquake and what took place, and they were filled with awe and said, Truly, 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 truly this was the Son of God. There were also many women there looking on from a distance who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, among whom were Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. The next day, that is, after the preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember. We remember. We, we remember. remember. How that imposter said while he was still alive, after three days I will rise. Therefore, order the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Lest his disciples go and steal him away and tell the people, He, he has, has risen, risen from, from the dead. dead. And the last fraud will be worse than the first. You have a guard of soldiers. Go make it as secure as you can. So they went and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone and setting a guard.
very dying form of one who suffered there for me. And from my contrite heart with tears to wonders I confess the wonder of his glorious love and my unworthiness. I take, O cross, your shadow for my abiding place. I ask no other sunshine than the sunshine of his face. Content to let the electronically on this Palm Sunday. We certainly miss the sanctuary full of people praising God and worshiping Him. As we come together to remember the joyful entry into Jerusalem, as Jesus comes into Jerusalem looking towards the cross,